Get ready for the oh next my round. god. You're the last man standing. Show me grace under pressure. Gotta go, night. Oh, what is up, people? You know who this is. J I M B O T H Y. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to get the golden knife in Call of Duty Black Ops the Third. A lot of people have been having uh, trouble with this challenge because some of the camos in the game are glitched. Two of the camos are fucking broken. And I mean not broken in terms of let me take my fucking Astros off here and put them on the TV. I don't have a stand. I run my shit tight like a peasant. Because that's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Mr. Wayne. God damn it! The broken cabos in the Black Ops the third stem from the final two, which cannot be acquired through normal means. What? What does that mean? It means... <laughs> No, don't say it. I was about to start talking about Back to the Future Part 3. I was on a quote. This video is getting to the point not very quickly. Fucking camos, bro. They're broken. So the last two are the hardest to get. It's called the battle camo. And then the other one, I forget, chameleon. And chameleon's just getting five kills. We'll talk about that in a sec. The Battelle camo is a bit of a cunt when it comes to getting, acquiring this shit. Because it's like, you have to pick up your enemy, you kill your enemy. It says, let me just reiterate what it says in one take, okay? It says, kill your enemy with the combat knife. Pick up their gun and kill them with their own weapon after you've killed them. What does that mean? So basically it's like this. You have to go stabs only on your friend grab their gun and when they run back into the area finally kill them with it without hopefully not getting killed yourself this is a pretty monumental feat to accomplish and it's pretty difficult in any way to do some of that sickness came up there people what's more surprising though is that the kills required sometimes don't get counted and that's because there's an actual glitch in the game that will fuck you over it's fucked so many people over I found out how to bypass it I've been looking everywhere everyone's been having problems with this camo challenge for the knife so what you have to do is because most people will have their knife prestige to at least prestige one or prestige two and in the secondary only slot this are both the problem for the knife so what you have to do is turn off your fucking prestige icons for your knife so your little kill counter ditch that that's like number one what's causing you problems here brah for two, you don't have a primary gun. So my knife only awesome class, which is just running all the stealth icons, so you'll have six perks, so you're basically unstoppable. That shit is out the window. You need to have something in the primary slot. I recommend a haymaker just to get shit done. Um, and then all you have to do, because now that you have a class with a primary in it and a secondary for your knife, that means when you pick up someone's weapon, you'll actually be dropping your knife and picking up their weapon, which is how it registers it as an actual kill and since it doesn't have the kill counter on it it doesn't screw it up and it doesn't have your clan tag on it your prestige icons you can actually proceed with this challenge and actually it's not too difficult once you realize this uh, what I recommend doing honestly is going to free-for-all because let's be honest here there aren't a lot of people playing the free-for-all brother so with free-for-all what you'll be doing is most people are on their own. Nobody's working as a team, right? Right. You want it on a small map like Fringe, where you can sort of control some areas. So I usually head up to the spawn here. And then you'll see some people try to come into this fucking barn. You just knife one of them, grab their gun. And then what I do is I camp out by the corner. The specialist you want to run, straight up, Spectre, okay? With Spectre, you turn on your cloak ability that you'll get slowly. That way you're not drying. <laughs> that way you're not dragging too much attention to yourself because honestly, once you start stabbing, they start shooting. And on free-for-all, it pings everybody. So everyone starts running to where that area is and you'll be in a shitstorm very quick. So you're in the barn there. 
You move out the window into this uh, ascended area and you're basically at the back of the map. All you want to do is keep looking through that window and maybe check the side and you'll see people running up to the barn because this is a good sniper spot. They think, oh, I'm getting the drop on someone. They don't know that you have the drop on them. All you have to do is keep killing people with that gun. It doesn't matter who it is. It does matter who it is, but eventually you'll kill the owner of it, hopefully, when they run up there to try and get their awesome situation set up for themselves to get a lot of kills. And since you have the camo, you can sort of just disguise yourself in a half-assed attempt. So this is how you can get this camo fairly easily and on the cheap. Some maps this will not work on. Some maps, you're asking for a bad time. Guaranteed! Anyway, once that's done, you've done your free-for-all kills, you've got your battle camo. The chameleon camo, honestly, it's a little more difficult. We're gonna still run Spectre here, and you're like, what? Why is it run Spectre? I love Spectre, okay? I guarantee you, goddammit, there's a, a fucking Daft Punk camo for the Spectre coming up soon. I can guarantee it. It's, it's classified. You'll see in a future video. When they flew me out to California to talk to Trey. Uh, never mind! Hater! So, Chameleon Camo. This is the other big challenging one all them people have the trouble for. So what you need to do with Spectre is instead of running the shitty ass Camo, you can do that if you want, bro. It's not a big deal. <coughs> I run Ripper, but I just don't use it. What Ripper will do is once it's active, it will actually have a targeting reticle over the player who's nearby, allowing you to insta-kill them with the Ripper if you activate it. However, that targeting reticle also slightly aims your camera towards them. So when you get close enough with the knife, you can get your auto kill in regardless. So that means you, not, you won't be moving as fast because you're not using the Ripper. However, you basically have a lock on to where the person is. And it's a little, it's a little cheap cheap, but it's, it's good good. So now how we do this, hater, how we get our five kills in one round, all knife only, this is a monumental task. So what you need to do is first of all, get yourself in a map of demolition. Demolition is pretty key because I'm going to take a sip of my drink and you will wait. Okay, demolition is key as fuck because the spawns do not move. What? What? You're playing a team game and the spawns don't move! Yeah, that's right. Like, it took me forever to figure this out. The spawns do not move. What this means is on a big map, big ass map, motherfucker, a complex sort of map, you can get the drop on a whole team pretty easy there. Now, oh, a lot of people will screw this up and on some maps, this is just not gonna work out for you. So what I'm saying is you get a map like Infection, you can do this very easily, and the team will sort of be on their side. You just have to sneak in there, and there's I mean, maybe be like one opponent you actually directly fight. And once you've snuck into their spawn, you take care of them for me. And the spawns don't switch, brother, so they're only gonna be in the same area, and you just go around knifing people. This works probably best on the map Breach, as shown here. Uh, Breach, oh my god! What a glorious map! It's so complex. I mean, there's three basic lanes if you want to get down to it, but then they have the sub lanes. So you can get around pretty easily if you try to sneak into their spawn. And this team is fucking stupid, yo. They were all in this room, and they all died there. <coughs> and then they even go... And then you can even... Hold on, let me... I'm holding the mic up. And then, because the objective is to detonate the bombs, right? You can sort of channel them into which bomb they want to go to. Like, if you... Because you all have bombs. So you can sort of set something up so they have to go defuse this. And then you just sort of camp out there and kill them. Anyway, five kills is not too difficult. You just have to do this five times. The battle camo is the biggest problem in the game. I just showed you how to fix it and how to actually beat that challenge. And now we got gold! We got gold, hater! We got the golden knife! What up? 
Oh my god, it took forever. It took forever! Oh, you closed that garage door a little faster when you're coming in that garage. It took forever, hater! And we finally got it. I can't believe it. And you know what's next is prestiging. Oh my god! I'm not ready for it! I am not ready for it, but we're gonna do it anyway. Anyway, that's how you get your golden knife leveled up in game. A lot of people don't have this yet. It's pretty awesome to have. It means that when you do your little uh, dance in the winner's circle, you can also have that shit set to gold. Anyway, I hope you found this enjoyable and informative. Be sure to leave a like and share it on your social media platforms. It really helps me out. And if you're new around here, we're on the road to 600,000 subscribers, so consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next...